Well, hello. I um, thought I'd start 30 seconds before we actually begin. A few questions already coming up. Lovely to see you all. Welcome to those that are watching this later on. And a very big welcome to those that are already here. Lovely to see you all. If you've got any questions, I can answer them verbally now. It's a bit hard for me to type when I'm going live. Um, but any questions? Hello from the Yarra Valley. That's where I live. Hi, Mavis. Good to see you. Um, and your question to start with um, before we begin was um, you don't have sapphire what can you use turquoise so this this one here uh, we just need to darken it with a little bit of black and red but we'll talk about that in a little while those of you that have just come on welcome and I have been inundated with emails and questions and comments and people saying really lovely things. Um, it's funny when, oh, I know if it's funny or not, people saying I have a lovely personality. Thank you. Made my day. It's really nice. This is another thing that made my day. This is Susan from Canada sent us this photo to say this is why I love, I'm excited about doing this. This is her front yard. Can you see that? That is crazy. I wish I could live there. I'll come and visit you in Canada. And there's a whole heap of pictures here. There's, there's some photos you might recognize your own drawings look at this people have been sending in I haven't put, got them all I just quickly create screenshotted them this morning I think there's only two two of them but numbers of you have been sending through um, yeah pictures and everything so thank you and please 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 do send them to through to this email address I will respond to every email might not be straight away but I'll try my best um, and I want to see your progress today so hb at heatherbradbury.com um, screenshot that now or write it down or respond just respond to the, any of the emails and I will get it as well so really good to have you here excited um, some of you are like whoa this is this is wow look all these lines everywhere how do I know what to do well that's why we're doing this workshop and that's why it's over three days because um, it takes you know this process to it um, and I'm spreading it out so it makes it easy first of all I want to make sure that you can hear me um, and also give me a yes I can hear you and also uh, where you're from I love to hear where you're from let me have a look down here we have Mary from Canada Mavis from the Yarra Valley which is where I live um, we have uh, Lisa Angie and uh, Gordana you're back well done excited to be here again I recognize a few of your names that have turned up lovely to have you all here uh, Liz and Lisa Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so Lisa has one question before I get on and I'll have a look at some of the other questions in a minute. Um, I have Cad Yellow Deep for Deep Yellow, Japanese Yellow instead of Bright Yellow. As long as they're, you know, we'll go through the colours in a minute. As long as they're close enough, um, you know, sunsets have all different colours. So let's not get too worried about the colours, um, you know, getting it exact and exact as the names. That's all cool. Well, cool. We've had a few of you from Canada. If any of you don't know already, I'm from Australia, Melbourne, Australia. Anyone been to Melbourne, Australia? Beautiful place to live. Right now, we're just getting at the end of winter. So we're all like, can't wait for those little daffodil, daffodils and, and the spring to come. <coughs> Looking forward to that. <coughs> I grab a little drink. Oh, frog in the throat. Alrighty, so what are we doing today? This is our second workshop. And today we will be looking at uh, the, so we've done up uh, all our drawings and today we're going to start painting in. Now I want to say first of all, today, at the end of today, you'll probably sit back and go, oh, that looks pretty ordinary. It will, or it won't, I mean, it'll look amazing. To me, it'll look amazing. <laughs> but um, never fear. When we get to the next day, we start putting in the detail and, and all that sort of thing. And isn't this so relative to life you know we like sometimes we get to the edge in fact me just in the last few weeks I'm like oh I don't think I can do some certain things in my life I'm like run it run my own business this is too hard I've got so many things to do and then there was a breakthrough it's like I can't do it can't. so you know this is a really beautiful process in terms of it's why I love teaching it because I see people come into my studio and they go I can't draw never drawn before, never painted before can't do it and they'll spend the first half an hour saying can't 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 and then all of a sudden they go oh oh it's starting to come alive and then when they've finished their two hours with me they're like what what so trust me in the journey okay we it won't look realistic until the very last almost the last two or three um i'm gonna say brush strokes but i think it's a bit less than that 
probably the last half an hour or so. Okay, tomorrow. Okay, so hang with me. I just thought I'd mention that. Awesome. Keep telling me where you're from. Susan from Canada. Wendy from Poetina. I used to live there. Hi, Wendy. Lovely to see you. Um, and yes, we'll go through all the colours in a minute. Um, so all good. And remember that um, you can, you know, as soon as this video is finished, video is finished, you will be able to replay it and stop and start. So you can keep painting. Because I think, um, you know, a few people yesterday are like, well, you're going fast. And I, and I do. And it's, well, in terms of, you know, trying to make use of the hour, um, I will go at a speed that I probably normally paint with. Um, and you can start with me, see how you go, and just keep painting and listening and watching. And when you when the video is finished, then you can keep um, painting. So just remember that. You can stop and start this later on. Um, yeah, and anyone who, you know, feels like they want to scoot ahead now, uh, later on in the video, of course you can, easily. You just slide the little thing across the bottom here. Oh, which way? This way? <laughs> no, it's that way. <laughs> All right. So what else have we got on my little um, notes here? I'm going to do a little bit of an intro. Um, you know, for those of you, this is the first time you're on, I'll tell you a little bit about myself and a few little stories. Last week I talked a little bit about um, I own a gallery and, uh, you know, a uh, long time ago I burnt out. Anyway, long story, I've got a gallery now, but that's another hot story for another time. But um, when I burnt out, I decided, it was about 10 years ago, I decided that it was time to do something creative and not just pour myself into hardcore work. Um, so this was uh, this is a quick little photo of me doing the first little painting when I was really sick um, and I needed to just do something to relieve some of that pressure in my life and it was just a wonderful experience. I got so excited that I went and got a big canvas and did a bigger painting and I'd forgotten that I could actually do, I used to do this a long time ago, um, used to paint and went through school, uni, doing um, graphic design and all that. And, you know, you had to do everything by hand. And just a quick one. This one's um, another picture, another picture, another photo of a painting that I just recently did called Limitless. Uh, and, you know, the journey has been very much for me uh, needing to find ways to really relax into life, been through some challenging health stuff and family stuff and grief and all sorts, which most of us have gone through, uh, but painting's been my lifesaver. And more recently, uh, this is what happened to my gallery, which is, was really sad, uh, very, very traumatic and sad, um, but never fear. Uh, oh, there's another photo of it I put there, because yesterday I didn't show you. There's, all, there's the car. Oh my goodness, it came right in and right through. <laughs> it was intense, but never fear. We have a beautiful new gallery now. And it's just lovely and um, amazing and I have lovely stuff and lovely I just I love my job so much um, but it started way way back it started this is where it started uh, back where will I go here uh, it started here um, where I was just like I need to stop I need to do something that I love and enjoy and feel passionate about and um, it's like I said it's a long story short but now I own my own gallery and obviously I'm doing this here right now as well <laughs> um, which is just amazing to see people from all over the world just incredible just looking to see um, the latest comments yet yeah, more people saying hello uh, welcome to you all so pretty exciting so yeah like we've got had people from New Zealand Somerset and Bristol in the UK New, um, Queensland hello from Australia United States, um, yeah, lots of people from Canada and numbers of people from Melbourne. Love to see you. Adelaide, I've seen someone from Adelaide as well. Um, so yeah, welcome. Thank you to see you. Good to see you here. Thank you to see you here. <laughs> good to see you here. Put it all in one. Thank you and good. Um, yeah, great to have you. You can tell I'm a little bit excited, a little bit nervous, a little bit everything today. Um, it's really good. So I'm going to go through the resource in a minute. Um, just making sure I've, I've covered everything for the moment. I suppose just a little bit more about myself. Um, I love painting photorealistic images. I live in Melbourne, um, in Victoria, in Australia. Uh, some of you have been commenting on my Australian accent. Uh, of course, I have no idea. And <laughs> um, but thank you. And lovely to have you here. And if you've got any questions, please, please, please put them in uh, the chat. I will do my best to sort of look at them. Let me know if you can't hear me or if anything, you know, you really want to find out that's um, what we're doing. So the next thing I really want to do is actually show you a story or talk to you about a story before we begin, before we look at the resource, because I know you're itching to look at my paints and ask me questions about certain colours, but I will do that in a minute. Um, 
you know, first of all, what I love to do and the style I love to do, people have been asking about things like, do I do underpainting and do I do this and that? You know, if you go online and you look at other people who do um, oil painting tutorials, even I get a little bit nervous because they're like, you underpaint, you do this, and then you use this medium, then you use that medium. Blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, 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 let's make it really simple. Let's just use one medium and let's just start painting. <laughs> Uh, I do do underpainting, someone asked, I do do underpainting um, if I have a really large painting and it's a really dark image so I'll do some darker colours but I don't sort of play around with put reds and then greens and then you know and all that. You can do that down the track but I want to make it easy for you to begin so really I just start from a corner and move across um, and just use the grids um, which we'll talk about a bit too. So a couple of people have been asking about grids. Um, I uh, one of the things that you can use if you've got a Gmail or even if you don't I think you can still find it which is a program online which is called Google Drawing and you can choose the size of your canvas you can put a photo in and then you can put a grid on top how many squares you want and everything it's really intuitive I do have a course on that um, and tomorrow I'll talk to you a bit more about other things that will relate to that as well um, the course but yeah anyway there's a I can't tell you everything right now, but I'm just trying to answer a few of the questions that people have been asking. I'm going to show you a little bit of a story. I have um, a story about a lady. Let's slow down, Heather. I'm too excited. Ah, have a drink. Okay, anyone want a drink? Okay, excited about this story. Her name is Margaret. You might, some of you that have been online with me before, will have probably seen this story, but it's an amazing story. So uh, Margaret um, first came and did some a, a class with me that was a whole heap of different things like pottery and um, what else we were doing, journal making and all sorts of things. She said to her friend, I'm doing everything, but not the painting. I can't paint. My husband won't even let me paint the deck. So she was determined to not paint, but her, her friend, because she'd come with her friend, she'll know better do it. So um, this is, her first painting. It was amazing. Look at the beautiful colours in that. And I just said to her, my goodness, you need to keep painting. And so we actually started a painting group and uh, she started painting and this is what happened next. So on the left there, she started with that one and then the one on the right. She was painting um, in response to some people dying in her family and it was a really healing journey for her. Um, we used the grid technique with her and uh, she just flew and look I'll flick through some of the others there's another one that she painted and I think they, these were all related to people that sadly had died in her family and um, some of them she gave to the partners and some of them um, she's you know kept for herself but um, just incredible work <clears throat> and this is from someone that never even thought that she could paint so she went on to do one of the online courses actually they were the first people that did the, the course in um, the online course that I'll tell you about tomorrow but these were these are all little mini paintings that she did and um, there's some videos that talk to talk about her saying that this was a, her lifesaver during COVID um, just to be able to you know spend some time the same size as what we're doing today um, yeah and you can be part of that in the future if you want to this is one of her later pieces I think there's her very latest piece that's of her uh, nephews I think um, amazing amazing or grandchildren sorry I think it's her grandchildren uh, yeah amazing story hey um, yeah you know and I get people coming into the gallery all the time that go I can't paint I can't draw and then I you know they do something and then they can so that's me trying to tell you I've shared that story to tell you if you're here and you haven't drawn before you haven't painted much or you used to and or you look you know you do things and that's out of perspective and it's not working and you feel disheartened Never fear. <laughs> There's a way forward and you know using the grids and the way that I'm going to show you today and the processes you can go on and you know explore this yourself or you can come along with me um, on the course that I'll offer you. There is a link for it down below if you want to have a look but I'll talk more about that tomorrow. There's no pressure to be part of that but I just want to encourage you even if this is the last time you see me to go and explore grids um, and go and you know I am actually not that great a drawer. I know it might sound crazy, but it, I'm not. I couldn't just draw that out of my head. Some people can, uh, but most of us can't. And to have the grids, it's just so, it just helps your brain relax. You know, okay, I know that and that's where it needs to go, like we did yesterday. You saw, you know, you just take the time and you can do it. It's really good. 
Uh, hi to Cheryl and hi to Sue. Nice to be back. It is. It is nice to be back. I'm really glad to be back also. Well, let's get on. And uh, so we've had a look at uh, our lovely friend Margaret um, and she continues to go on and do amazing things. And I have a class with them uh, regularly. Uh, still a class, a, a group with all of those ladies that um, helped me begin this mini coursey thing that I'm going to show you tomorrow. Anyway, enough of that. I'm going to turn things around and we're going to start showing you uh, all the paints and all the resources and things like that. So let's just have a bit of a look. So this is obviously what we're going to be painting today, the image there. I'm going to start painting that today. So looking at the resources here, so you can see all those colours and I have written next to it, you know, any black will do, titanium white, any white will do, a phthalo blue, a warm blue, you know, a sapphire, a sea bluey green. It's quite dark there, um, but if you have like a turquoise, that's fine. A golden yellow, again, you know, it doesn't have to be exactly called that, just something that's more richer and warmer. Uh, a spectrum yellow, which is something brighter. Burnt sienna, so a brown, even if you have a darker brown, burnt sienna has a bit more of a yellowy feel to it, it's a little bit lighter. Magenta, um, like that really, you know, a maroony colour. Um, and then some red, so spectrum red, I think I have a spectrum vermilion today, so some of my colours are a little bit different, but they're very close. And as to brushes, so I use filbert brushes, so um, they have this sort of, whoop, a round edge on them see that there and then when you turn it they're nice and flat and they're just so versatile so I have, whoop, I have one of those what's that one that's a that's a 10 this one's a four I don't think I've got a six I think I put a six in there but um, I think I've only got a four today that's all right um, so that's that one and then I've got a few little brushes this is a tiny one that'll be a, a triple zero this is these are twos I think I've said a one but you know just something small that's fine little round ones so numbers of those are really helpful because we've got different colors to use. So, so that's our brushes. <clears throat> I've got the medium. Now we had some interesting discussion yesterday, uh, ooh, yesterday about medium. Oh gosh, too early in the morning for me. Um, this is an Australian product. Apparently you can get this in New Zealand. Yay, that's fantastic. I heard that yesterday. Language Low Toxic Medium. It's actually odorless, which is fantastic. Uh, because I used to, you know, paint in cafes and things and, you know, we don't want it to smell, smell, smell. But what have I got here? Now, one of my wonderful students sent me all of, all of the um, information. I'm just trying to find it. Here we go. All right. So um, she sent, I have put all the links below, down below um, in the comments here. So she's, she's written, she's, Put some links to all these amazing things that it's given and given us some information. What is paint medium? What are the main aims of the paint medium? Um, it's yeah, it's it's a let's just read it. All painting mediums main aims are to alter viscosity, which is you know the how um, you can see through it or not, surface finish or drying time of an oil paint. So it's pretty much like um, you would use water for uh, <coughs> acrylics. All right, and yes, uh, some people were, were talking about the different things that you can use, linseed oil, stand oil, linquin, I think um, someone yesterday, I remember one of the guys was talking about that, that one, that's a Winsor & Newton product, combination of mediums, um, using turpentine, someone asked about turpentine as a medium, technically turpentine would fall under the category of solvents, but can be used as a medium for oil paint as a way to dilute the paint. So yes, you can, if that's all you've got in the cupboard, go and find it. Um, it's been used for centuries to dilute paint. So yeah, I wouldn't use too much of it, but it's enough to be able to dilate it down. Um, and then you can, then we've got different things as well here. Now, um, let's just have a look underneath here. So this was really interesting. Um, drying oils include, so drying oils include linseed oil, tongue oil, poppy seed oil, and walnut, walnut oil. Um, non-drying oils include almond oil and olive oil are not suitable for painting. I was asking that yesterday, I wonder if olive oil, but no, <laughs> someone was going, yes, walnut oil. So don't use olive oil because it doesn't dry. Okay. It doesn't help anything dry. I hope that, that, that makes sense. Is it okay if you don't have any medium? It's, it's totally okay. It's just harder to get a really, uh, straight line. Um, if that makes sense. So it's really, it's a lot harder to get things to, to flow smoothly, smoothly, but you can, you can use it without, um, any, any medium. Uh, you know, you'll see, you know, if you go to 
gallery any galleries and stuff you'll see oil paints and they're very chunky well they haven't used any medium because they want to get that effect um, but for the process and what I do here um, with my work is medium is really important to get that really smooth feel and you'll, you'll see a bit more of that today uh, let me know if you have any other questions about that I tried to get as much information as I could down there there's also a link down there which I don't have it to show you up online um, but you can make your own I was like asking thinking because I haven't done much research on this I just love this medium that I use and it's just fantastic so I use that um, and I've just gone on my merry way and love painting but you can make your own um, medium from uh, three ingredients linseed oil turpentine and damar varnish d-a-m-a-r varnish equal portions of those three things you can make a medium uh, if you have linseed oil or, or what sort of thing, you know, the, look, the ones that I've got, the one that I've got's got some additional little things in it. I think I mentioned them yesterday. This has got stand oil, low toxic solvent, uh, linseed oil and cobalt dryer. So a whole heap of lovely ingredients that makes it dry in the right time and all that sort of thing. I hope that's okay. I hope you've got all that information. Sorry we had to get through all that, but um, yeah, inf important to answer all your questions. That's what I really wanted to do. So today we're going to do, we're going to fill in the darker areas. So whenever I do a painting, I always start, or like say if I'm starting in the corner of this piece here, I would go for all in between the rocks first. I'd be going around all the rocks and all the dark areas. There's a few different reasons for that. One of the main reasons I like doing that is it just relaxes your mind. And that's one of the key things I want you to actually notice when you're painting. Yes, you might be like a bit worried about where the brush is going and am I doing it right? But you won't be thinking about much else except painting and it just calms your brain. It's like, I'm not thinking about that phone call I have to make or the work that I have to do. Um, you're just doing it and enjoying the process and that's that's the beauty and the absolute wonderful um, thing about all of what I'm doing here. So good. All right, let us get going and I'll just show you some of the, the paints that I have. I'll get back to here. Um, I use an art spectrum, but you can use all sorts of other, there's so many different brands. Um, but all these are all the paints that I've got here. I don't necessarily need to show you, I'll show you as we go along. Um, what I might do, oh, I'll put them all out as I go. This, this here is um, palette paper. You can buy it from um, any sort of art shop. I've got this tiny little, little gorgeous little bowl I found. Put a tiny bit of medium in there. I'm just putting all my paints out. Everyone does these things differently. Some people love to put everything in a line and make everything, you know, dark to light and all that sort of thing. And I think that's a great idea. I'm not that messy. Not that messy. I'm not that great. I am messy. Um, that's some sapphire there. It looks very dark on there, but it's a beautiful colour. Um, and where was I? Where was I going? Yeah, some people will always have their paints in a certain spot on their canvas which is I think quite a clever idea um, but I don't I often I mean I'm use, often using just black and white or just something else so um, that's okay uh, you do what you want you know nothing's wrong in this situation you just do what you feel is right so at the moment oh it looks very much orderly doesn't it it's not going to by the end I can tell you that all right, I'm going to put those there and then I'll move that up a little bit, put some yellow up here. So this is a darker yellow, warmer yellow. And then um, we have a brighter yellow. So you can see warm and cool. Okay, so there's the two different colours there. We've got everything. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I have everything out. Great. Got my medium, got my brushes, got my image. We are set to go. Super great. What I'm also doing is putting up, I'll just turn this around so you can see my face, um, putting up the image on my computer here so that I can see the colours better. I really want to be able to see um, what's happening up there, definitely. Now, those of you that might be watching on, you're like, where is the resource? Down below, there's links to the resource page. There's also all of this will be online for at least two weeks. Um, all the links uh, down below to the resource page where you'll see all the videos. So you can go back and watch number one uh, and eventually this one and number three as well. All right. So ready to go. Who's, who's actually, give me a thumbs up for those that are actually painting along with me. Um, I'd love to, you know, or a thumbs up or a love heart or something just to let me know that you're painting along. Uh, like I said in the beginning, 
uh, you, you can start with me. I will probably move reasonably quickly because I want to sort of finish uh, to a certain point in the hour. Um, but you can easily, the beauty of it is you can just stop and start it later on. Um, easy breezy. Even probably now, you could probably stop and start it and then keep going, except it won't be live. <laughs> anyway, that's okay. Uh, great, Angie, you're watching on. That's excellent and doing it. So um, really, really excited that you are here and doing it. All right, let's get into it. No more of this mucking around, telling you all this information, although it's all very helpful. I'm sure it is. Okay, so I've got my printout here as well, but I really um, just going to move this here so I can see it better. Uh, I have my image up on uh, the computer so that I can see it better. I'm just enlarging it up nice and big. What you want to make sure is whenever you're doing, you know, grid work, that you're actually got, you've got your image up um, at least the same size as your canvas or bigger. If you're going to use something that's, you know, a photo this big and you're painting it onto something really big, you there's no way you're going to make it look photorealistic because you won't see all the detail. So that's great. Lovely, there's a few of you. Daryl's doing it and good, good Dana. God, Gordana, I hope that's how you say your name. Great to see that you're painting along too. All right, let's get going. So we're going to start at the bottom here. This is a really interesting color. Um, it is black, but with some red in it as well, I think, and even some of the turquoise. Again, if you don't have this really dark turquoise, look at how beautiful it is. Such a beautiful color. Um, you can use um, a bit of turquoise. So this is sort of, I'll put this out just so you can see that color. Hopefully I won't grab from it, but <laughs> if I do, I'm sorry, sometimes I'll... Anyway, you can see that once that sort of goes, it looks similar to the turquoise. So I think if you can want to add a little bit of blue, sort of this one here, which is the phthalo blue to that, it will probably deepen it up. All right, so let's get started. I'm using, starting with this bigger brush, I may very quickly go to a smaller one. I just can't remember when I did my trial of this where I went with the brushes. Um, but for the bigger areas, I'll probably use this. But before too long, there's not many big areas. I think I'll end up going to a smaller brush. So this one is a size 10. Please ask um, if you have any questions. Uh, <laughs> I would if I could get my stuck paint tubes open. Uh, yeah, I get it. Uh, Lisa just said she, she'd start painting if she can get her stuck. I know, it's challenging. I've had a, a conversation with one of my students yesterday. She actually opens up the bottom of them now because hers are really, she hasn't used them for a while and she gets the paint out from there. You have to get the pliers out, Lisa, so um, all the best with that. All right, so we're going to start with a little bit of medium on the brush, just sort of tapping it on here and grab some, some of the black, mix it in. And then I'm going to grab some... Um, of the sapphire i'm just deepening this black this is a, a uh, what's this one this is um why have i had a mental blank about what, what color that is Payne's gray <laughs> um Payne's gray it has a little bit of blue to it if you have something that's like a lamp black or even a mars black uh, it's actually quite a bit blacker not much um the reason I like to use paints grey, and most people use paints grey when they're painting, is that really you don't always get really black, 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 black in in an image when you're looking at something. There's always some light shining off it. Um, but in this case, you know, when I'm looking at this, it's very dark. So I have a bit of me, a bit of magenta, and a bit of sapphire mixed in with the black. And I just want to make it so that it's just it's, it feels nice and smooth. This is one of the hardest things to teach online is how much medium. So you're just going to have to have a um, an experiment with that. I haven't mixed enough paint, which is normally what happens when I teach other people. They're like, ah, oh. so just got to make sure you've got enough paint there. It looks very dark, um, and that's what we want. It's, but it's a very rich dark because it has that magenta uh, and um, sapphire. You know, that's what I'm trying to say. If you don't have any sapphire and you only have the phthalo blue, we can still make this work. It's totally fine. But, you know, as you can, if you look closely at that, if you sort of zoomed right in, um, you'll see that there is a bit of a red tinge to it. So um, red, adding red to um, a paint's grey makes it a beautiful colour. All right, so what we're doing, as you can see here, is I'm uh, just painting in where I can see all the dark areas. So what I'm trying to do is to leave just a really thin line where there's lighter areas because we're going to come over that and make it a bit thicker later. So I'm just leaving a thin line so that um, I know where to come back later. 
there's sort of a bit of a wobble to this line don't make it perfectly straight um, so we're just going to wobble wobble <laughs> I feel like mine's a little bit it's a bit hard to tell on the screen but mine's a little bit too red so I'm adding a little bit more sapphire to that um, but don't stress again if you don't have sapphire just use um, some phthalo phthalo blue or you know the whatever blue you have there all right okay and some red just bright red you could add some bright red this you know really really for me is encouraging you to just get some paint on um, and not worry too much about getting it perfectly right how you going people keeping up so far not that I necessarily need you to keep up <coughs> like I said um, you can stop and stop this later so that's where we've begun fantastic yeah 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 <laughs> celebrating the beginning so we're just going to keep moving up so this this here gets a little bit lighter and I'm just leaving that at the moment I'll, I'll change that because I've got this color on my brush I want to sort of keep going with this color um, keep keep checking your color for me I'm looking at mine you won't be able to tell because it'll all look black to you but I can see that it looks a little bit too red so I'm adding a bit more sapphire to the color because I want it to it's got to look pretty much black um, but I just want to hit just that really hint brown oh it's tricky you can see red and you can see oh you know yeah there's <laughs> so many colors in that um, you'll notice when you start doing the painting you start seeing more things um, which is really beautiful as well all right so I've done these two areas here now I'm going to move up to I started doing in here so I'm going to follow this line and because you've done some wonderful drawing you know where to go so follow that line up and then I'm going to keep going up here and we're leaving this line here free and you can see how easy it is you just go a little step at a time yesterday in my class and my studio uh, one of the ladies was getting a little lost and I said just come back come back to do one square at a time and she's like oh gosh yes that makes it so much easier and there's no rush there's never any um, deadlines that's why I'm encouraging you not to feel like you have to rush and do this with me you know get you know keep going the whole time um, because there's no rush you, you just need I want you to enjoy this experience yeah so that does sort of go fairly dark right to there so we'll leave that I've left a little space there for this bit here all right how you going any thumbs up people and how you going those of you that have been that are doing this um, don't forget that you can uh, well not don't forget no you're not going to forget because I want you to <laughs> send me a photo of what you do by the end of today or when you've done the done this at the end all right let's keep going so these sort of darker areas go right up here and right across here so i'm going to keep keep going with all that all of that so there's another we're going to leave a little gap there um here if you feel you get lost come back to just one square and focus on one square <clears throat> all right so i'm going to put this section in now i keep on having to mix more paint what i love is <clears throat> i've got quite a little froggy throat today hold on have another drink too early in the morning 8 30 is early for me <laughs> i'm not an early riser but i tried to make it this early so that <clears throat> those of you from canada i know it'll be 11 30 at night or uk over that way uh, i know it's going to be later for you so congrats to you for staying up late painting along cheryl angie going slowly slowly is good there's no rush like i said you can just do it in your own time I used to do these during COVID. I used to do these two hour sessions at night. They were so fun. Such a laugh because we sort of had to move quickly and people would be like, I can't go keep up. But I'm like, come on, you can do it. But then, you know, they um, watch the replay later. But it's so fun. Uh, and, you know, then they would catch up then. All right. So I'm starting to get to a point where this brush is getting a little bit too big. I reckon, you know, an eight is better to start than a 10. This is, this is sort of like, whoa got to be real careful in here so I don't um, you know put it in the wrong spot all right okay we've got that far look at that all right I'm going to change brushes uh, I didn't actually I, I wish I had an in between this one's a four a six would be really good if you have a six use a six um, for that first bit anyway we'll change now so we've got some black 
some sapphire and a little bit of magenta just to get that really beautiful dark sometimes you know when when you're putting dark colors down the next day you, you might want to come in and just go over it a little bit just to get it even darker depending on the brand of paints sometimes some paints can be really transparent uh, and if you look on the back of your um, your paints this one says opaque uh, sometimes I'll say transparent this one says transparent um, some of them you know are more transparent than others so um, yeah some of them um, are a lot thicker and uh, yeah you can experiment with all of those all right so I'm just checking I want to go over here we'll do that a bit lighter in a minute let's keep going to all the darker areas so I'm going to keep going up here so there's this section here again if you feel like you're getting lost you could come back in and put this here and go have I got those things in the right place yep 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 all good You've printed it out um, those of you that have come in uh, skip the first session and you're on this this one it's really handy to print this out and be able to put this down put the little marks around and draw it up like that have it the same size you always want to have it picture the same size so that um, you can see all the detail all right let's go over here so where are we heading today you're like wow how much are we going to get done today that's a really good question um, what I'm planning to do is to get all the dark bits in and a fair bit of the sort of lighter bluey colors in and then tomorrow we're going to come in with all this beautiful peachy color and the light and the highlights to, to end with all right so that's where we're heading so we're just doing mostly blues today all right let's keep going um, that bit there I'm not worrying too much about major detail right now I'm just trying to get in just um, the basics oh, I didn't draw that bit in we'll put that there there's a few little little bits here I am glad I have a smaller brush now that would be very hard to do with a bigger brush <clears throat> all the comments have gone quiet now because we're all so busy um, some of you are watching on while you're doing other things um, if you've got any questions please please um, message them put them in the chat because I would love to answer them now this this one here gets quite red in here we'll come back with that later um, and you know if you feel like oh it's not exactly the right color we'll come back over that and sort of touch them up I'm just trying to get the basics in to start with all right there's a line there and it gets a little bit lighter over there so I won't do that yet I'm doing all in one color <coughs> crazy little froggy go away frog <coughs> in the throat <coughs> morning phlegm <laughs> I don't know what it is that's all right okay now let's go up here some lovely dark spots here again a little bit of red in there but for now we're just looking at just doing this darker color so this darker color is the black the sapphire and a bit of the magenta all right in here I'm just going to not do that top little bit because it's quite red in there I'm just going to sort of scoot around that little bit there because you can see there's a really bright sort of spot there so I'm just leaving a little gap there for that all right then we'll put this one in here excellent and I hope you continue to paint on and watch watch you know watch along but keep painting because um, what I find when I have the online course that people love watching on and starting their their paintings with me because it gets them going um, it's it's really good to have that sort of incentive to be working alongside someone else um, gives you that that push to keep going all right so we've done that far now I'm going to go right up to the top because it gets a little bit lighter here move a few things out of the way so I can actually reach it okay so still fairly much the same color I think um, so we've got the black sapphire and a little bit of magenta so right up here this this section up here is where I'm going now all right get a bit of medium on that if it feels like it's sticking um, just go and grab some more medium but you don't want so much medium that you you water it down and you end up it looks like watercolor because you need this especially the darker bits need to be very um, opaque they need to really not be transparent all right so 
There is a little bit of a lighter section in that there, but I'm going to put, bring that in later. Okay. All right, I'm happy with that. All right, and then there's some darker bits up here. All right, we go again. They're a little bit lighter, but that's okay. We can put the darker bits at the top and bring the lighter bits down towards the bottom of that one. Uh, if I'm using acrylic, how thick do I keep it? I'm not sure I understand, Dorothy, what you mean by how thick do I keep it? Um, yeah, I suppose you just gotta you've gotta just monitor how it comes out. If it feels like it's too transparent, just don't use as much water. I think that's what you're saying. I'm not exactly sure. Um, if you want to ask another question, uh, Dorothy, I'm just answering some questions online. Um, happy to try and answer that. So there we go. As you can see, I'm working with oils and I love them very smooth and beautiful and they stay wet so all of this is wet still and we'll be able to come back and do some blending which I'll show you in a minute I think I'm nearly up to changing color now I think I think I will so now we're going to go a little bit lighter Mavis who was asking earlier about turquoise this is where you can use your turquoise if you have it I, I will not use turquoise because I have told people where oh I haven't put white out that's what I haven't put out um, Someone probably noticed that earlier. Um, yeah, so just to get that lighter color, we're going to add a little bit of white to the color that we've just been using. So that's all that mixture of, um, of we have, what we have phthalo blue and, and the magenta. So I'm going to add a little bit more sapphire to that because I feel like it needs to be a little bit greenier. Um, and then add in a bit more white. Still not quite green enough for me. What I'm going to do, I think, I think I will go back on what I've just said. I'm going to go straight into sapphire over here. I'll grab some white, just so it's got a bit more of a greeny feel to it. I'm actually going to grab a little bit of the will I or won't I? No, nope, just some more white. Let's make it simple for now. Yes, I will. <laughs> it's not quite green enough, so I'm going to grab a little bit of the golden yellow to pop it in, just so that not too much, just enough to make that, yeah, look a bit more sea-like, okay? And a bit more white into that. When I'm mixing colours, I don't use a palette knife because it, they're so small amount, um, such a small amount. Um, Dorothy, yes, you add some water to your acrylics. You want to, like I'm using medium, you would use water. So she's asking about her acrylics. Um, how do I make it sort of smoother? I think, yes. Yeah, so use your water to water that down. All right. So now we've got the color we want. So I've added some sapphire and a little tiny bit of a, a darker yellow and some white together to get the color that I'm wanting. Um, so what I want to do is come in and. Which bit will I do first? Well, I, I was up here, so let's keep going up the top here. Some of these lines in here. Yeah, just that little bit darker in here. There we go. Um, okay. And okay, let's 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 keep going up the top here. I'll try not to go everywhere. I, I want to go everywhere at the moment, but we'll just keep playing around, just following what I'm doing here. Um, just a little bit at a time so you can see that there is a darker a little bit lighter blue in through here so we'll put that in follow the line that you drew in and there there and then there's a bit of this color around the edge of this here and follow it on a little bit very good uh, now this color comes in here as well Don't stress too much about getting it perfect. We're going to come back tomorrow and we're going to play around with all the details. So not a problem there. So we've got 15 minutes to go. And what I'm aiming to do is to try and get all the blues in. Um, and then tomorrow we can play around with some of the colors, which will be so fun. Feel free if you want to keep going. You know, if you start doing this and you want to keep painting, um, that is fine. Uh, and you can ask questions. Uh, later on so 
putting the base color down with this means I'm just mixing a bit more of that up um, we can come over and play a bit more with it you know, if you feel like it's not green enough you feel like it's not quite the right color keep mixing keep playing with the color I'm, I'm just adding a little bit more yellow I feel like I didn't have it quite green enough uh, it was a little bit too bluey might have gone a bit too much now but uh, we'll see uh, cool so that's in there yeah, that's a nicer color I like that better all right there's there is some so edge ooh, too much that's what happens when you put too much medium on a um, little bit of just a hint of it around those uh, where else can I see it so there's a little bit of it around here this is where I love the medium the the oils where you if you go over it like that it just blends so beautifully little hints of it all up in here it's a bit lighter I'm going to put some lighter color up in there I might go around the edge of that one like that look how beautiful that blends so so good all right we're just coming down here well, this has got a, a this color in there and then where else so there's whoops uh, through here there we go and there's a few other little tiny lines this is where you're like oh, I'm getting lost remember come back to square at a time if you feel like you're, you know I'm going too fast or whatever stop and start the video later um, and just just go okay she's done that stroke I'll do that stroke she's done that stroke I'll do that stroke just follow along um, it's easy paint by numbers sort of <laughs> all right uh, where am I going now so this here this one here so it's a little bit a couple of little spots in there and then on top of here there's some a little bit there this gets a bit trickier in here uh, oh I didn't do there's a dark section there that I haven't done so I'm gonna go back and grab some of that so this section here sort of got like a little it's got two ends to it right there and it goes over to here so I'm just putting that in here so there over to here remember if you feel like it's getting overwhelming just stop breathe and remember the analogy of this and life um, often when we're starting something new we're like we think that we can do it everything perfectly straight away uh, but just with a bit of practice and with a bit of perseverance uh, you'll be fine just keep going there's no rush with this I mean I'm trying to finish this within the hour so I do have a time time frame timeline you don't you can um, you can just do this whenever all right we're good with that excellent so I've got that in got that in great so I'm going to go back to the other color now if you feel like you want to change your color you just grab grab some paper towel or a little rag and you can wipe your brush I don't have any solvent or anything some people with oils they sort of dip it in some solvent to wash that out I don't do that I just wipe the brush I might put a bit of medium on it and do that uh, mainly because um, this is the way I've always done it and also it, it's very smelly uh, I don't like to use things that are too toxic and smelly and all that sort of thing so these paints are actually low toxic as well these are Australian brand which is really good some paints be careful some paints are toxic they'll have a little, little sign on the back saying careful you know don't get it on your skin or don't do this or that all right uh we're going well have we got we've got about 10 minutes to go we're on track here well i'm on track in terms of teaching so um let's get back to some of this color here we want to bring this in now so this is why i love these brushes and you see that when i turn it on its side it's very thin when i turn it this way it's thick so we want to use it um, when we're down in this area here we don't want to use it like this and go like this we want to use it on its side and and up right up, up so you can see how i'm going right to the camera it's up very um vertical well not completely but because i want to be able to see what i'm doing but we can come in and bring in this color in here like this okay i just drag that along you gotta be careful that you don't drag too much of the other color um, and get it really muddy if you feel like that's happening just go and wipe your brush and grab some more paint all right and we'll go back in here and we can sort of have some fun with that 
cool, cool, cool. Don't have enough paint mixed up. I'm going to have to mix some more up. A bit of sapphire, white, and some yellow. That's what I want. Ooh. Getting the right combination is helpful. <laughs> All right, here we go. Beautiful sea colour. All right. Cool. Let's get these colours in. And I don't mind, I've actually sort of greened up some of that, that colour's come up a bit greener. I don't mind it changing a little bit of the colour here and there, you know, don't have to have it exactly the same. Um, actually adds to it, I think. Uh, hi Rob, from uh, Campbelltown in Hobart. Nice to see you. Or it might even be Bron, I'd say. Hello, good to see you. Um, anyone else that's just joined, love to know where you're from. I'm just filling in some of these gaps here now with some of this colour. We're going to come over with the highlights later, so don't feel like you have to get all of these little white bits in. We're just looking at one colour at a time. That's why it makes it so much easier when you're learning to paint and doing this, is you think of one colour at a time. Um, that's how you make a photorealistic painting doable, is you just, you're not looking at every colour. If you did that, you go a little bit crazy. Like, I can't do all that all at once. All right. Excellent. Getting the colours in. Alright, we might need to go a tiny bit longer than today just to get all of these this blue in. Excellent. Karen Breen, you're enjoying it. I am so glad to hear. This is this is why I'm doing it, because I know it's enjoyable. You can see it coming alive, can't you? And, and like I said at the beginning of this session today, you'll be like, well, it doesn't look anything yet. But you know you're doing it. You know that you're doing it as it is here. Uh, and it's going to come alive. Come alive. I love those words. Come alive. We all need to have moments where we feel like we're coming alive. Um, you know, all sorts of crazy things happen in our life. And creativity is such a wonderful way to help our brains relax. Um, we've just had some people pass away, people, <laughs> so it didn't come out right, um, family member pass away and it's been a really challenging time and um, just getting back to some painting and teaching has just been really helpful for me. Um, in fact, one of my um, uh, son's partners, um, my family member passed away and they got me to come. We did uh, a little painting activity with the family. It was really beautiful. It was such a lovely idea. Just, you know, part of their grieving. It was really nice. Uh, all right. Keep on uh, filling up all those spaces. So, again, tomorrow we will bring in some more detail to this. Today you'll be like, oh, no, that's right. You can see some little white bits in here. I'm just going to go. You want to make sure that you try and get rid of all the white canvas in the background if you feel like it's dragging grab some medium grab some linseed oil grab something some turps even if you don't have um, the medium that I have just something to get it to go a little smoother all right now over here I just notice it's a bit darker in this corner here so I'm just I didn't quite do that dark enough so I'm just going to put a little bit more dark in there all right so nice to get your comments guys uh, how it's going what you're enjoying about it um, really appreciate that feedback because you know obviously I'm here in my little studio and uh, it's me <laughs> but seeing your comments really help know that we're on the right track all right so this is a little bit lighter in here I'm going to it, it, actually it's a bit more red in there we might do that in a little while we might do a little bit of red before we go all right, just keep on looking where there's any other lighter colours and keep adding a little bit more lighter so you can keep sort of lightening it up as you go, uh, adding more white, adding more yellow if you need. Um, so a little bit more lighter up here. Now I'm going too green, but I'm not too worried about exact colour. As long as you're getting the tones right, you know. The thing is, you can paint a black and white photo and it'll look like a real picture you know what I mean so don't stress too much about colors uh, all right let's what's happening here that's got to just be a little bit darker in there so it's not the same color but a bit darker yep a little bit darker adding more black to that should be darker in there it was just a little bit different color that's why I left that 
Now, in this little bit here, oh no, I'm looking up at the screen. Yeah, it is a little bit red in here. I'm just going to grab a bit of red and just come in over top because it feels like it's going to blend in, but I just feel like it needs a bit of red to blend in with everything else. A little red and black. Just a bit there to just change that colour up just a little bit. If you're unsure about anything, just just fill the space and it feels good like I just did then. I was like, oh, I'm going to fill that space in. A little bit more red in there and black just to get that feeling a little bit warmer in that spot because that's where the sun's going to be shining. Well, it is shining there. Very hard to see that um, on my camera, but um, it's all good. All right, so I still haven't done some of these other darker bits here, which I'm going to do now. Um, see we've got this is where it's really good that you've drawn your your, in, your lines in because um, someone sent me an email this morning actually and I'm pretty sure I responded and they said have I done too much detail um, and I said no well actually the more detail you do the better because then you're not guessing like I am right now I'm like I think there's a line there because I didn't actually draw every exact line in but I'm pretty sure that's a line yep there 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 all right, so I'm going to leave all this. This is going to be fun in here. There's a lot of detail in there that we're going to look at tomorrow. All right, um, still need a bit more dark in here. Let's see, that's our square there. That comes to there. And that comes... Oh, yeah, it's quite light in there, isn't it? That's why I've left that like that. So we'll leave that there, maybe a little flick in there. There's a couple of little... Hold on, that's that square. This is where you, you get a, you can get a bit lost if you're not careful. Okay, that's there. There's, yes, so there's that that goes through there like that. Cool. All right, I'm going to lighten this even a little bit more now. A bit more white. <laughs> Dorothy says, fascinating, but my eyes are closing. Thank you, and I'll catch up tomorrow. I know it's late there. It must be 12.30, is it? <laughs> Um, Dorothy's just saying my eyes are closing it's late yes no nice to um nice to have you join us but you can watch the rest tomorrow all good have a good sleep um, about to start my day have classes at my gallery all day today it's a Saturday all right so uh, what I want you to do in this session is to keep going until you sort of um, while the paint is wet, that's why I want, don't want to go quite yet, is I want to sort of blend some of these edges because it's really nice to be able to do this while it's a little bit wet. So sort of dragging some of the, um, the, the colours into. So I'm just sort of finding little areas where it's a little bit lighter and just blending it in. See there? Just blend that in a little bit. Um, it's a little bit lighter in there. All right, I'm going to leave all that. That's all good down in here. Just getting rid of all the white gaps. Now, we'll go back up to the top just for a little bit. Just for now, I'm going to keep going for another five minutes or so. And then we will do the rest tomorrow, which will be really fun, the last day. First two days feel like, you know, you're prepping for the real deal. Um, like you do like a room or something like that, you know, painting a room. Okay, so up the top here, I'm just making it quite a lot lighter now. And I'm just going to fill in some of these gaps in here, so a lot lighter. I need a fair bit of medium. A little bit more yellow just to green it up a bit. I'm just coming in with the edges. A bit more medium and a bit more white. I just want it quite light now, back in here. Fantastic. What I would really love you to do um, before you go today is just comment on what you found helpful about today. All of all of this. Sorry, I've got a bit of black on there. I've got to wipe it off. Um, really helpful to leave your comments or you know email me um, again at this email address. Where's my mouse gone? Over here. Do, 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 do. Okay, email me at hb at heatherbradbury.com. Uh, I'd love to see your images and where you've got to so far, uh, definitely. Uh, I haven't finished yet for today, but I'm just 
letting you know that before you rush off now. Um, still going for another five minutes, so keep with me. So um, just adding more white, as you can see, I'm getting further and further down on the canvas here, on the uh, palette. All right, we're going for some lighter blue up in here now, right in between. Quite light up in here, in between all of these. This is again why I like, like the oils, because you'll notice that it blends really beautifully with the other edges. You want to sort of come in and come right up to the other edges, and blend it in, and it makes this beautiful, smooth feel. If you feel like it's getting too muddy, um, so looking at this bit here, I'm just going to wipe my brush and I use what I call like a dry brush. And I'll just come in and just sort of gently go like this and look how it sort of blends in really beautifully. Okay. Everyone that's using acrylics are going, oh, oh, that looks really cool how that happened. So just wipe your brush and then blend those edges. And you can do that with all this here. Come in and just sort of blend these edges a bit more so that they're not so, so harsh. Um, and sort of push that blue up into the color a little bit and you can see how it just starts to have this beautiful not so harsh edge on it because it's water it's very soft see how I'm wiping my brush um, I'd like to see how you clean your brushes tricky one to show you because I have to be you know where the water's running but um, I'm happy to explain that in a minute Angie who's asking about washing brushes um, but basically, I um, can explain to you while I'm doing this, is I just use soap and water. I just run the water and put it under the tap. Let's pretend this is the water coming down here. I just have, um, let's pretend my mouse is a cake of soap. <laughs> and I just lather it up with the water coming down and wash it like that. Basically, that is all I do. If I am rushing around, I use something called Incredible Brush Cleaner. And I dip it in that and leave it in overnight. Um, we can get it here in Australia in places like um, Officeworks or um, you, you probably find something in your own place if you're from Canada or UK or somewhere. All right, can you see how I'm just blending those edges really cool, really beautifully. All right, so we're going to continue on. Um, I said it was only five minutes. Well, I've still got four minutes to go. I want, what I'm trying to do is get more of this lighter blue in. Grab some more white. Um, I want a hint of yellow to it just to, so it's got some sapphire, some white and a tiny bit of this golden yellow in it just to give that really soft feel. All right. Basically, you know, if you're like going, I don't know where to just put some paint on and see what happens. Don't stress too much about it being exactly the right shape. I think I've changed a few shapes there, definitely. Um, all right. The main thing is that you just having a go and putting some paint on. It's amazing once we bring in the highlights. It won't really matter that you've got some things in a little bit of the wrong place. It really won't matter. So um, in through here, we're going to keep going with our light blue, which has got a little bit of yellow in it. Um, okay, so and tomorrow we're going to mix up a color that's sort of peachy out of the colors that we have. All right, there's a lot of orangey yellow in there so I'm not going in there and here is quite a different color um, but we'll come over here with some um, where are we that's that dark bit there so there is a bit of light color through here I'm trying to leave a little bit of it white because that's where the peachy colors are coming through I've missed a couple of really dark spots here so I'm just going to go back and fix them up so just a couple of little dark spots in here which I didn't quite get in so I'm making that a little bit darker through there and there's another dark spot coming over there I really hope you stick with this and do this um, really really do and I really hope some of you do that do it today or tomorrow and finish it and send me the photo before the end of the workshop it would be so cool or at least you know um, a day after the workshop to send um, something that I mean I don't want to pressure you please don't rush if you don't want to but I'd be so excited to see some of you um, have a go and keep keep working on it today or tomorrow uh, into the next day after oh, I'm waffling a bit here but <laughs> I'm getting tired um, yeah you get you get the point at some point I want to see you painting this even if it's at the end of the week that's fine all right let's so I'm just trying to go back in and double check everything going through so 
Again, if you're feeling like you're getting overwhelmed, come back to one square at a time. So what I'm doing is looking at this square here and I've got my square, I can see and I'm going, okay, it's actually darker across this point here and I haven't quite done that. So that's that one. I want to darken that a little bit more in that spot. A little bit that comes down in there. All right, so that's pretty cool. All right, so now I'm going to wipe my brush and finish off with some of the lighter blue and then we're going to finish for the day. And that's where we've got to. Um, and then if you want to do some more blending in between, I'm not going to quite do that in this session. Um, I might try and do it tomorrow. Just it's tricky because I don't want it to dry too much. So if you can go in and blend some of your edges today, that would be really, really, it would look really cool. All right. Uh, I'm going to leave that because that's the peachy color. There's a little bit more blue coming in here, light blue. And where else can we see some light blue down here? So this is the first square comes to here. Um, a little bit on top of that. And then up in this area there is some more. So let's get all this filled in here. Get all that with the lighter blue. How are we going people? Hope you're going all right. Those of you that are painting along, love. I wish it, I wish we were on Zoom. I'd love to, you know, hold up. That's what we used to do in um, lockdown. Everyone hold up their pieces and see how you're going. Um, but you know, you know that I want you to send them to me, and I'd love to see how you're going with it all. All right. I'm filling in some of these colours in here. A bit more blending through here. Basically, just keep looking at where the colour that's on your brush, where it is. And if you see it being too sort of peachy colour, leave a bit of a gap. This is a little tricky trying to work out which what's peachy and what's blue, but um, just you can do it. Any other questions before we go today? Because I am about to go. Um, love to answer anything that you, any questions that you have. I'm going here. So I've sort of done this area here, but it actually um, is a bit darker than what I've done. So I'm going to come back and fix that in a second. Put some more light color up through here. Now as we as you go, you can go. Oh, oh, that's a bit should be a bit darker than what I had. So I'm just going to bring it a little bit more dark into that section there. Keep playing around with that. Uh, wipe my brush. Go back to lighter color bring that through here nearly finished for the day um, love to hear how you've gone if you want to take a little break from your painting or watching and just say what you've enjoyed about this session so far if you haven't used oils before I'd love to hear from you and just go oh uh, how it was and if you've got any questions because um, it is a beautiful medium to work with and I really want to make it doable for you um, if you've got any questions, they're all answerable. Um, everything else, everything is figure outable. I don't know if you know Marie Folio, um, but she's uh, written books and done courses and stuff online. She says everything is figure outable. All right, I think I am going to leave it there. I, um, she says, as she does a little bit more, I'm just going to go around these edges a little bit with some blue just to smooth them out a little bit. A little bit lighter in there. This is going to dry a little bit by tomorrow, not a lot. Um, so we'll be able to come over the colours a little bit tomorrow. Um, there's some darker areas here, but we'll play around with them tomorrow. I haven't really got time to do that today. Um, the last thing I want to do is just to blend this down a bit. I've made that a bit too light in there. Grab some darker colours, some black and some sapphire. Just trying to get that. Cause these little peaks are really important. And I want them to be quite dark at the top there. And I got a bit carried away with the paint there. So I'll just bring that down a little bit more. A little bit more there. Excellent. I am going to leave it there. Looks like, almost, almost looks like mountains, doesn't it? All right. Excellent. So let's have a look at your questions. 
Pass oh yes, uh, this will take me all morning to catch up to you. That's fine. I'm looking forward to it. You can see that it's doable. Hey, that's the great thing, Angie. Um, uh, what's the correct way to dispose of your paint medium or will it keep until tomorrow? Uh, the paint medium does um, get very, uh, it doesn't like the air very much. So you can just put it in a jar with a lid on and it'll be fine for tomorrow. But don't leave it open to, you know, by tomorrow this little thing here will be have sort of a um, thing on the top. What do you call it? <laughs> well, my words are gone today and every other day. But anyway, uh, Angie, yeah, so I hope that's helpful. Uh, Susan, do you think your paints are what we would call here water-soluble oil? Oh, okay. No, mine are not water-soluble oil, but I do have some in my kit because some colours are hard to find, so I do have water-soluble oils. Um, they're just different brands. So, But you can mix water-soluble with um, just normal oils. So, uh, interesting question. Uh, very informative. Stop painting to watch. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's easy for me because I don't have to watch you. <laughs> So I can, obviously, it would be hard to keep up with me because you're having to watch and then paint, watch and then paint, um, but it's okay. Uh, the more I do, the more uh, the hang I get of the brush, which for me was the most difficult, yeah. Keep asking those questions. That's why I'm here. You feel like, how do I do this? How do I, you know, so I can demonstrate, you know, live to you. It's really helpful, Karen, um, that you asked and that you're sort of letting me know that. Um, just seeing me do the brushes it, it's certainly you know all of my students in, in person they're like they love it when I get onto their their actual canvas and show them how I'm doing it and it's a really helps them know um, techniques and stuff like that so I really want to know um, how you found today <clears throat> please in the comments just write down what you found helpful um, what you're looking forward to Thanks so much from Lisa, she says. Couldn't get some of my paints opened either, so I'll we'll play with it today. I know. I know. They can stick, can't they? Well, I'll tell you what. You know, I went I went all around the house trying to find my sapphire today. Look at it. It's got no lid. I'm like, oh, I'm so glad I had. I could find it. Otherwise, I would have to go back to the gallery to find one. It doesn't have a lid. Um, but, hey, um, I can paint, but I'm not good at looking after my tubes necessarily. Although all the others have their lids on them, but... Anyway, um, we are all uh, all individual characters, including myself. So, I uh, just to check my notes of what I have missed today. Um, yeah, just that I just want to hear from you, uh, and I love you to please, please, please email me hb at heatherbradbury.com. Any questions? Because uh, some of you will be watching this later on, um, and I will uh, obviously I won't be doing it in the middle of the night, <laughs> but I will respond to you hopefully. Definitely within 24 hours of you um, sending some questions to me. Um, really love you to do that and send me some photos of your actual paintings so far. And, you know, say to me, uh, can you give me any tips and pointers on where I've got to? Because I will respond to that as well. I hope that's uh, helpful. I hope you have found today great. Um, cover your palette with alpha. Oh, yeah, okay. To keep the air and paint will keep for a few days at least while you're doing your painting. Daryl, you've always got wonderful uh, tips and pointers. Um, yes, if you want to put your palette, um, this is what I will be probably doing, uh, is if you want to put this in the freezer overnight, if you, well, you probably may not be me or you might be, you might continue painting today, um, put it in overnight, it will preserve the paints or like Daryl says, put it in a container with a lid or some glad wrap or foil or something, you know, trying not to get um, over the paints. Also, uh, it's not ideal for long term, but, um, if you have to rush off, you can put these in the freezer too. Don't tell anyone because it's not great for your brushes, but it's really good overnight if you really don't have time. Washing them up, just some soap and water. You're done. Fantastic. Very good. Thank you, Susan. Back tomorrow. Keep my palette uh, and brush in the freezer. Good to hear other people are doing it. Mine looks nothing like the photo, but I had fun blending colours in together. I know, it's so fun blending the colours. It's really good. It's going to come alive. Trust me, people. It's already looking amazing. Uh, and until next time, uh, keep painting, keep creating, and please ask me a zillion questions, not too many. I mean, I can't answer a hundred at once, but please ask me questions. Um, really love to connect. It's really lovely. Uh, haven't we found out? I don't want to go, do I? I haven't found out, you know, we found out during COVID and all that, that we need each other. We need to connect. Um, and that's one of the main reasons I really wanted to do some online courses and, and encourage people to continue to paint because we really need it. 
um, we've been through some challenging stuff and uh, we need some creativity to help us find some calm and that's why I'm here to help you find that so um, anyway I'm gonna go I could talk on forever and watch all your bits and pieces um, Dara's got another comment just to finish if tops on paint get stuck put some boiling water in and an old old coffee cup then hold tube upside down oh okay I'll read this slower <clears throat> if your tops of your paints get stuck here's a good little tip for you uh, put some boiling water in an old coffee cup then hold tube down upside down <clears throat> and dip cap cap only into the hot water for a short moment and the screws off easily ha <laughs> Daryl you're a whiz why are you here you don't need to learn anything this is so cool thank you um, all right I'm gonna head off now <clears throat> And it takes me a while to click on all the things to say goodbye but remember there's a replay for this um, in the link below if you want to watch tomorrow's again uh, stop and start and have some fun and I will see you tomorrow see you later everybody